This is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's video, we're going to go over put and patch in Postman. What is put and patch methods? Well, they update the resource. So we've already talked about retrieving data using get. We've talked about creating a resource using post. And now we're talking about updating a resource. And we're going to use the JSON placeholder example. So uh, if you've been following along with my last videos, you'll be in the same position I'm at. Now, one thing to remember is, of course, with using JSON placeholder, this is just a dummy, meaning nothing will actually get updated on the server. So if you're using a different API where you're going to be updating using put or patch, they will actually update for you. But in this example, they don't. So first of all, then, what's the difference between put and patch? So put will completely update the resource with whatever date that I've added. So basically all gets replaced. Patch will only update the data we provide. So it won't replace the full information. It only replaces what we specified. So let's do an example of put first. So I'm just going to duplicate this post call. Let's rename it and we'll say put example. Change the method from post to put. And in this example, we're going to want to update a single post with the ID, so we'll add the one onto it. And I know this from the documentation. I've gone to update in a resource, and you can see here it's given me the example of doing it here. So what we want to do is update the full resource with all the information. So let's go to the body and delete what we had from the post request. And I've already got a pre-configured updated object. So here we go. We've got title of commit quality, body of subscribe, user ID of one, and ID of one. Now all I have to do is hit send. And this is updated. Of course, it's fake. So it hasn't actually updated on the server. But the response has generated how we have updated everything. So it's shown us what it would look like. And when we're talking about the difference between put and patch, if I remove body here and hit send, what you're seeing is body just hasn't been returned. But now let's do the same example, but with the patch method. Let's duplicate this and we'll rename it to patch example. Exactly the same. Oh, let's save this so it changes to put. Exactly the same here. Let's say patch. But in this example, the body is going to be removed again. But what's going to happen or what we should see happen is all these details have been updated. So the title, user ID and ID have been updated. However, the body will remain whatever it originally was. So if I hit send, of course, we're missing the one up here. So hit send again. And what we should see now is user ID, ID of one, both matching, commit quality is the title. But in this case, the difference is the body appears with whatever the information already was. However, when we go back to the put example, what you're seeing is there's no body at all because we've essentially said, create this new object for us or update the existing object with this new information. And if I don't include something, I take it as I actually don't want to include it in the response. And that's, ex it, that's exactly how it all works. So in a real API that's connected to a server, I could have updated using either of these examples. I then could have used this get request, hit send with the value of one, because we're using a path variable on this. And what would have actually happened is these would have been updated with whatever values I've sent through, depending on the request I've used. So we'd expect, for example, title to be commit quality. Like I said, this is all fake and mocked. So it's just returning these kind of fake responses. But in a real world scenario, this is how you'd start chaining things together. So how you can create a resource, update a resource, and then get it and retrieve that information. As always, if you do have any questions, please drop a comment below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. Thank you for watching.